Now, what we have is we have the wall of the raised bed. Here, that's ground with the grass. And then we put two nails into the side and we put around two wires and they go all the way around of the raised bed. Now, let me finish this a little bit further. In the middle I've got another two nails so that the wires will not hang loose in between. We do have our little box and there we have the two wires with the two clamps connected to it. That means on those two wires there is power. Here's my slug. So the slug comes here through the grass, then goes up to the raised bed, it will cross the first wire, and then it will hit the second wire. That means hitting the second wire will close the circuit, the LED will come on, maybe, depending on the resistance here, and the slug will get a small electric shock and will hopefully go back down again. Um, let's talk about some measurements. So those two wires are apart from each other about 10 millimeters and from the ground I think I put them up um, probably 30 to 40 centimeters. So as fence I'm using a simple galvanized steel wire that I'll wrap around the, high, the raised bed and I hook it up with galvanized nails to the sides of the raised bed. However the nails need to be isolated so I'm putting on here a little isolation wrap and how that is done I'll show. So to put insulation on the nail you take a little piece of insulation wrap you put it on the nail, like this, heat it up, it will then shrink and you're good to go. Alright, so first thing I'll do is I'll screw that somewhere on here. And next thing is putting on the nails. Now I forgot to bring with me my tape measure, so I need to do that by eye. So I'll take just the length of my hammer and then about one centimeter above the second nail, like that. So now it's possible to wrap around the wire from here to here.
Now comes the tree part, the wire. So one of those two cables needs to be covered with both wires and the other one needs to be above. So let's start and make sure one's above. All right, if you're around, just cut it and wrap it around the other cable. And with the second one, the second line, you just do it the same. Start, and then wrap it around the nails. And also make sure that you, one cable, that the one that's previously below is also here below. So what's left is hook up the wire that's behind the two wires, clamp it to the below one and the one that's not behind the wires to the above. Now you're good to go and if there's a short circuit, yeah, you probably don't see it, but actually the lamp comes on. As you can see, hopefully, I also put nails on the side so that the wires do not hang loose that much. And you also need to take care that all the grass that's around here does not get higher than this because then the grass would be a bridge above the, dry, uh, the wires and that would also not help to keep the slugs out. And that's the raised bed I put up last year. And I also made this electrical fence on this bed and it just worked out perfectly. That's why I redid, redid it for the new raised bed as well.